How's it going everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4 and this time I'm going to be building on the roof of Croup Manor. So the like little balcony roof area that I have outside of my general's quarters. I'm going to be using that as a like defense post for the house and uh, there'll be a few more videos based around the house itself. Uh, well, actually, I think one more that's like actually on the house or two more I can't remember exactly because uh, yesterday which was Sunday uh, I did a lot of recording for this house and uh, so I got a lot of editing to do and this is like one of the first times that I didn't record the audio on a weekend before actually releasing the video yeah so sorry that this is coming out later than it's supposed to but i did not have the time this weekend really to do any videos i was very busy and uh, this is going to be a little bit later than it usually is and yeah i'm sorry about that guys but uh even if it is late i'm still going to get it out to you guys for sure and all I'm doing is I'm placing these uh, end caps or the, the shack walls and roofs with the window pieces on both sides so that there's a place to view out uh, of this little building on the roof of this. And what I end up doing here in a moment is uh, I move the door over because you can see the beam in the back right. It's lined up with the doorknob. So either I'd have to move all of the, uh, like, balcony and walls or whatever to the left, the wall and or shack wall and roof to the left, or I can just move all of this stuff to the left. So I end up just moving this wall over a little bit so that it kind of lines up right on the other side of that half shack half uh or the shack roof or shack wall and roof i keep trying to say the actual name and it keeps i keep messing up so sorry about that but one of the main issues that i've had with like building on this house is just picking up all of the things with place anywhere that aren't what i want to pick up because there's so many pieces of Plant or pieces of wood and plywood, planks, everything like that, pallets, walls everywhere, and I go to use place anywhere, and all I ever all that ever wants to do is pick up those from underneath whatever I'm trying to pick up. As you guys can see, it kept happening a minute ago, but yeah. So a lot of the upcoming builds are really going to be decorations, not a whole lot of like actually building things. Um, but a lot of decorations. There'll be a few builds, some really, really simple builds, actually. Um, but, like, they still work for this settlement. So if you guys are building here, it's something that you guys could easily do. But, yes. So, on this end, I end up placing down these half walls, like end caps or whatever. And I use, like, actual half walls on this end to actually make a window. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to use the half wall. It's not really placing, so what I end up doing is it snaps, so I just let it do that on its own. And then I just end up putting the Place Anywhere tool on top of it. And... This is a lot of this build, to be honest with you guys. Uh, just messing with Place Anywhere. Place Anywhere is such a pain. Um, it doesn't work half the time. It, or Well, it works, but it just picks up the things that I'm not trying to pick up, which is really frustrating. But it works really well, so it is a huge pain. Like right there, why would it pick up that half wall over there when I have it literally on top of this half wall? And so the only thing I think I end up doing... Okay, so, yeah, right there, picked up some plywood, more plywood, 
I end up jumping down. Picks up plywood on the window. And then picks up the half wall. But you can see I end up falling off here in a second. Yep, there I go. So now I just got this. And I can't get inside because I got the doors closed. So I just decided that I would try to place it from down here. And seeing that that would be extremely difficult, I just place it way up in the air so that it's away from the build and still in range for me to pick up the Place Anywhere tool. And then it works pretty easy. And I just place it on top. And you can see it kind of makes a wide window. You can do that uh, if you guys are building anything like this. Or maybe you're just building a house and you want a window like that. Th that works. Uh, you can even do... In my uh, Starlight Drive-In video, I put a a greenhouse window like along with like that um, like build idea or whatever with those half walls stacked up, and it works fine because um, I end up putting one on the outside and one on the inside. And uh, you can't really tell that they're not connected. But after trying to use Place Anywhere for so long, um, I eventually get rid of it. And I know that these are a little more forgiving. So I place this one down and then I go to the other side. And I just try to make sure that they're even with the half walls. And it makes a smaller window that's a little bit more boxy uh, instead of a longer one. And I think that that looks good. And trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this, I wanted to build a way up to the actual roof. And so what I end up doing is I'm just trying to get stairs up there. The only problem is is that they don't this doesn't snap to where I'm trying to get it to snap. And then this place anywhere tool won't actually sit on top of this stair case. So I end up just sitting here messing with it for a little bit. Realize that that doesn't work. Try to get it to snap some more. You know, I finally give up and I put it on the roof down there. So then I can place anywhere, or I can use place anywhere, and I can put it lined up with that top right half wall, the roof, and then also the floor down at the bottom left of the stairs. Those are like, that's how I get angles right a lot of the time, is I look at things that I'm trying to connect the, like, item with, and so I've had people before uh, mention that I'm really good at getting angles right like the first time and I do cut out sometimes where I fix things but um for the most part I do like a pretty good job I think at getting the angles correct on builds so like right here I'm looking at that top right corner and you can see I need to adjust it a little bit but I'm trying to make that sure that it's lined up with that left side or well at this point it's not the left side but yeah pretty much essentially I'm just trying to make sure all the the sides are lined up with other things and uh, now it's not really working but what I end up doing is now that I have access to the roof I can pick this up a little easier and then I can get rid of that and I go into the warehouse section and they actually have the longer floors that I can use so I just grab one of those and I figured that it'd be easier to snap off of this so I uh, just place it and then I just snap that I end up having to move it over a little bit to get rid of that little gap because there is quite a bit of a gap 
and I'm just trying to fill in that side so that it's even. And once I've fixed that, that I mean, like I was saying earlier, a majority of this build is just me messing with place anywhere, trying to get things super precise and the perfect angle, which it can't always be. And then now this is me trying to, that was me trying to get it to snap, see if it actually would. And now that I know it won't, I can use place anywhere to line up this staircase with the floor. And you can see I got it pretty good on the first try. And that one doesn't work. So that full floor won't work. So I end up placing down another one of these. Get rid of that half or yeah, half square. And then put down a small square. And because I want it to have a little bit more space up here, I end up placing down some plywood because I know I can get underneath it and it fills in a little bit of the space. Gives you a little bit more walk, uh, walking area up here. Now I'm trying to line it up with the top left corner of that half square floor on the right and the bot or the top left corner of this like quarter floor and that's how I do most of my angles on um, builds and get things at super specific angles and then you just mix up the the railings corrugated steel I decided to go with the green one because the corrugated steel roofs right there I had that little wire um, fence Probably easily could have left that left side open, but um, I don't fill that in. And so I guess what I decided to do instead of that is fill in that whole side. And I think that this is a pretty like good, simple build. Uh, it was 15 minutes long, but it's completely uncut. And... Yeah, I thought that it ended up fine. I mean, it's a little defensive shack or whatever. Uh, the decorations, there's not a whole lot of decorations. Um, there was some things that I wish that I had done that I didn't do, but it still looks fine without the things that I had done in the decorations. And I can always add those later, but I probably won't just because I don't want to take up any more build area or build limit than I have to on these or add to what the game has to load to destroy a frame rate. But here's the finished build. You can see up there on the top right, I got some guards uh, in USO in the NPC section. You can find guards. I added some Minutemen guard up there, guards up there. I got three in that little area, one on the very top and then two on the bottom floor. One's guarding this window on the left, and then one is guarding facing the front of the house. But if we go in here, the house is really coming together, though. I think that it looks really good. It's not too scrappy, but it's it's looking really scrappy enough for me. Because it's supposed to be a nicer place. But if we come in here... You can see we've got some lockers for some people's things, some ammunition and stuff over here, some just uh, general goods for the guards. We've got a little chess table over there that they can play chess on on their breaks and stuff like that. Not chest. Chess. That's not even chess. It's checkers. I don't know why I said that. They can play checkers on their break. And yeah. The cool thing about the USO mod is if you place down a settler, you don't like how they're dressed, you can just uh, store them, and then you could replace them. But not even just that, but if you just back out of the NPC guard section and go back into it, it changes the like outline of the guard. But let me know what you guys think of this build. Let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see here. And thank you guys for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.